Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today we got an exciting upload, as I will be documenting and explaining every single leaked entity coming to Floor 2 in Roblox stores. Now credit where credit is due, this video wouldn't be possible without the help of Rise, a fellow Doors YouTuber who for the most part has been recording all of the leaks for Floor 2 on their channel. I highly recommend you check out their channel if you haven't already, as they are probably one of the biggest influences when it comes to keeping us updated with the development of Floor 2. I've left a link to their channel in the description of this video if you want to check them out afterwards. Anyways, with all of that being said, let's begin. Alrighty, so the most teased and probably most well-known new entity coming to Floor 2 is this. This giant red blob is not only an entity even though it hardly looks like a living thing, but surprisingly we know essentially everything it does. Now based on how this thing appears in a locker inside of the first official Floor 2 trailer, as well as a little information we got through digging the files of doors, we're able to deduce that this entity functions kind of like a mixture of Timothy and Hyde. Essentially, it appears that this entity will spawn inside of lockers, and if you happen to open the locker they are inside of, you'll be jump scared and damaged. You would be able to tell which locker they are hiding in as you can see their body through the little holes in the locker, as demonstrated in the Floor 2 teaser video. It is a pretty simple concept, but I can see this entity becoming pretty deadly when paired up with other types of entities, like Rush or something like that, as scrambling for a locker only to be stopped by this new entity can be a surefire way to meet your demise. Moving on, the next heavily teased entity we have seen is Batmoth. At least, that's what its current official name is. Most Doors fans know that this entity was showcased in the most recent Floor 2 teaser trailer. However, we also received an up-close image of its model, which I'll put on the screen now. Now, as this entity's name suggests, they appear to be a mixture of a bat and a moth, and based on the Floor 2 teaser trailer, they seem to spawn in hordes, which could make for some interesting scenarios. Now, although their function is unknown, based on the teaser trailer, it appears that they have the capability to break any and all lights in the room they spawn in, and judging by how moths have a tendency to be attracted to light, I don't think it would be too out of the ordinary to assume that a swarm of bath moths could attack you if you were holding or using a light source, which overall is a pretty cool concept. I can't wait to see this entity fleshed out in the game when the update does arrive. Next up we have Screech, well at least a variation of them. You see, a version of Screech with the placeholder name of Screechworm was leaked to come to the Floor 2 update, and besides some parts of their model, we really don't know much about them. Their face does resemble that of Screech's, but there are some striking differences, such as how they have multiple eyes, almost as if they were a spider. Now, it was confirmed by the developers that Screech would return in Floor 2, but it is unknown whether Screechworm will fully replace Screech in this level, or if they will fight alongside each other. Who knows the horrors of having to fight two versions of Screech at the same time. Moving on, it's time you meet Abraham Lincoln. Well, at least that's what this new entity's placeholder name is. You see, a while back, like before the backdoor update was even released, a model for a new entity was leaked, one titled Abraham Lincoln. And that was probably due to them wearing a top hat. Lincoln appears to be a humanoid with sharp claws and several holes in their body. Very little is known about this entity, but judging by how most humanoid entities indoors are bosses, I don't think it would be too out of the realm of possibility if Lincoln does end up becoming a boss entity similar to Figure or Seek, and I think that's pretty cool. Next up we have Ants. That's right, Ants. It was recently leaked that Ants were coming to Floor 2. We were not only showcased what the Ants will look like, and they appear to be 2D images, which I will admit is a little strange, but we were also shown a model for what their Ant Hill looks like, which I'll put up on the screen. Now based on how the Ant Hill model has army ants in its name, I believe that the ants will appear in hordes, which makes sense, as it would be kind of odd finding a singular ant at an ant hill. As for the ants function, I'm not really sure. It is entirely possible that these ants will just be used for decoration rather than being actual entities we'll have to face, but only time will tell. Now, as you may have noticed, the further we get down the list of entities, the less we know about them, and this next one is no exception to this. Models for tentacles with animations alongside them were recently leaked for Floor 2, and the community has gone into speculation on what these could possibly be for. We know they are likely going to be used for an upcoming entity, but besides that we don't really know much. Now, judging by how this entity will have tentacles, it makes me believe that it possibly is some kind of octopus or squid. Furthermore, based on the recent Floor 2 teaser trailer, we know that flooded rooms are coming to the game, and these would be the perfect spot for these squid-like entities to appear in. As for what the squid entity will do, we have no idea, so I guess we'll have to wait for the update to release to find out. 
Next up, we were shown the strange humanoid drawing by Redables, who is a Doors developer. It is widely considered that this drawing is a sketch of an upcoming entity, which is why I included it in this video. The drawing depicts a humanoid figure in what appears to be a vest. Other than that, very little is known about the drawing or what this entity could mean, so it's up to speculation. Lastly, the final new entity leaked for Floor 2 isn't really an entity, and instead it appears to be only a part of one. You see, recently a bunch of egg models were leaked, and nobody is really sure what they could be used for. However, based on how they appear to be burrowed into the ground, I believe that some type of entity will lay these eggs and they'll hatch into more of that same type of entity. This entity could be completely new, or it could be one we already discussed. I don't think it'd be too out of the ordinary if we could encounter Batmoth or Squid Eggs throughout our Doors playthrough, and we would have to avoid stepping on them or else a new entity will hatch out of them. Really, it's up to your interpretation on what these eggs could be used for. Anyways, that was essentially everything about every new entity coming to Floor 2 in Roblox Doors. Let me know in the comments if I missed any, as well as what your predictions are for them. Again, big thanks to Rise for gathering much of the images and information used in this video. So, with all of that being said, thank you all for watching and I hope you enjoyed.